The Fox 54 Weather Now Tower Cam Network, sponsored by Brighter Side Roofing. You're, you guys are watching just in time for the start of this sunset. Here's a look over Evans Town Center and it's just a nice sunset, a mix of stratus clouds as well as alto stratus clouds making for that beautiful sunset. Now current Doppler radar a little bit cloudy up towards the north, so partially cloudy skies up here. Anywhere in the metro area, you're seeing mostly clear skies and then down towards the south, partly cloudy skies once again. So we're going to be seeing an increase of clouds for this evening and just high pressure is really taking over this forecast. Looks like we got that trough pretty much starting to dig into the upper um, upper Georgia as well as upper South Carolina. Now that's going to cause some of that cloud activity that we see here tonight as well as an increase of atmospheric moisture. Temperatures now are into the 50s, 50, 56 in Waynesboro, 56 in Millen, a little bit cooler up towards the north into the lower 50s and dew points are very dry across the board into the 30s. So 35 for a dew point in Waynesboro, 36 in Louisville and 37 in Bamberg for this evening. Now here in the two state, we're going to see a low this evening of 35 degrees. So it's a little bit warmer than the lows we've been seeing for the last couple of days. Partially cloudy skies going to be a little bit warmer considering those lows were in the 20s just about two days ago. Now tomorrow's forecast high of 57 degrees, sunny skies. It's going to be a cooler day overall, especially with those dry conditions in the area. So here's a look into tomorrow. We're going to head into the rest of this evening, 6 p.m. to about 12 a.m. Going to see those clouds slowly increase, and then as we get into the morning hours, going to start to decrease once again. And for the most part, Thursday is going to be pretty much sunny across the board. Swainsboro even starting to see some more of that sun anywhere from noon to about 6 p.m. for tomorrow. Then as we head into Thursday evening, going to be seeing a very nice and clear evening ahead. So for your rainfall outlook. We're staying relatively dry up until Friday. Going to start to see an increase of more clouds into the area by Saturday. Then we're going to see lots and lots of rainfall for both Saturday and Sunday night. Now this is from a cold front moving through off to the west. So we got high pressure staying in control for right now. Then off to the west, we got this low pressure cold front starting to form and it really starts to make its way through northern Texas and then makes its way all the way up. And that's going to really start to increase rain chances heading into the next couple of days. So down towards the south is going to be the next weather maker that we're going to keep an eye on. So low pressure making its way up towards the north. This one's really going to go through the panhandle, but we're going to see some of that atmospheric moisture as well. And that's just going to increase rain chances anywhere from 0.5 to 1.5 inches of precipitation from this storm system. So here's a look at the next three days. We're staying into the 50s for the temperatures for Saturday. We're going to see that increase of precipitation 50% chance in the evening. Then as we head into Sunday, going to get into about 70% chance of showers for the morning. As we get into Monday, we're going to start to see decreasing clouds. Still going to see maybe a stray shower or two in the morning. So here's your weather picture of the day. We got a beautiful picture for today. It's from a little bit ago. So thank you to Shakita C in Evans, Georgia. This was taken on Halloween at 745 entering gate six of Fort Eisenhower. Trent.